Zerhuni and Novenyi Jr., our co-main event. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. Novenyi Jr., 20 years old, five years younger than his opponent, who weighed in at just 182.6 pounds for this fight at 185 pounds. Introducing first in the blue corner at six foot one and weighing in at 182.6 pounds. His professional record, seven wins, five defeats, fighting out of Montpellier, France, by way of Algeria. He is Lied Bulldozer Zahoni. And across the cage in the red corner stands the proud son of an Olympic gold medalist, standing six foot tall, weighing in at 185.6 pounds. His professional record so far perfect, undefeated at four and oh. Fighting out of London, England, by way of Budapest, Hungary, Magic Norbert Noveni Jr. Ready? Hey! Here we go! Red gloves for 4 0 Novenyi Jr. Blue gloves for the man fighting out of France, Laid Zerhouni. And he is aggressive early, John. Very aggressive. Oh, he collided that left hand. Novenyi coming out with a different stance, almost a la, like a Michael Venom Page. Don't know why he went to that, but this is where he excels. Now he's got the fight where he is comfortable. All those big strikes are now out of the equation. So it's all about what do you do with the position now. Norbert talked about his opponent having that Moroccan kickboxing style. One way to not allow him to showcase it is to do exactly what he's doing right now. You know what? You close that gap, you clinch up, you get tight to your opponent. Doesn't matter how much they are skilled in the striking arts, you've taken all of those basically away. He's got a lot of shoulder pressure here. If he takes his arms and he closes in, now he can get a good choke here. This is a Von Flew here. He just let go of it, so it's not there. Was looking towards maybe an arm triangle. Went back with his hands, but now that the arm is not stuck before, Zerhouni's arm was actually stuck. He can't get rid of it. When he let go, he was able to take that arm and get it out of the place. Looking towards the arm triangle again, Mike. He's got the head in place. He's got the arm, but the, what's causing him a problem right now is the fence. He wants to go to that opposite side so he can increase the pressure on that choke. But Zerhouni right now has got his feet up on the cage, keeping himself close to it, which is smart because he knows that Norbert needs to cross over his body to make that choke complete. Norbert, three of his four professional wins by submission, two in the first round. He has earned one by the arm triangle that John's talking about, now trying to give himself some space to work. You can see, look at the pressure that Novini's able to, he's just crushing down on the chest, shoulder pressure on the head, keeping the head where he wants it, nice elbow strikes. This is what a good ground game will do for you. It makes it to where, wherever you're at in these positions, you have an attack, you have the ability to strike, you have the ability to set up the submission. Good base is what we call it. Man, it's a problem when you are underneath it. He was looking to pass the mount. Big elbow. I mean, this kid is just days shy of 21 years old, and he's so big, strong, and powerful. And uh, talented. God, we have an anaconda Can choke. Can he get it here right now? Looking to finish this fight. Zerhuni trying to fight it off. You'll see he keeps on. He should keep rotating. Don't let him trap that. If he can pull either that arm or the leg, it's going to help with the choke. Now that he's in the top position, it is less in that choke. Still has the ability to work, but Novini should think about it. He's trying to grab the leg. He's just got it. Sometimes you know 
ah, I don't have it, let go of it, get yourself to a better position. Nice job by Zerhudin to fight it off, but a nice elevator sweep by Novini, bring him right back. Good defense by Zerhuni, but that has been the problem in the first four minutes of this fight. Most of it has been defensive after that early early combination that he landed on Norbert. Yeah, he landed up that combination. It stung. You could see yes. Novigny was like, oh, my God, I need to do something. Shoots in, gets close, and that's been the difference so far in this round now. Tried to pass. He just went back to it again, missed it. Looking towards the triangle, pulling down on the head. He's got to keep that right arm. If he can pull that right arm across, now he's got the ability. Now pull the arm across, and that triangle can work. Pulling that. It is all over, just like that. Another first round submission victory for Norbert Nobeni Jr. But he overextended in the beginning. You saw the pressure. Look at that nice left hook touch. Him right on the cheek. Didn't, you know, put him out or anything like that. He was still there. You saw, he knew exactly where he was at. Gets in tight. And it was the difference. But sometimes he was going for too many types of submissions. He was almost getting things. But when you realize, I don't have it, it's time to let it go and get yourself back to a good position. Here when he had the triangle, you can see he's trying to pull on the head, break that posture down so he can get that left leg over, hook up that figure four on this. And once he gets that right arm pushed across, now he's got pressure, the choke's on. That's how he gets the tap. Look at what he's doing with the leg. Right now, now it's tight. As soon as he locks it behind that knee, now it's tight. You see the arm across, a lot of pressure from the legs on one side of the neck, his own arm. On the right side, nothing to do but tap. Inside the Bellator cage, referee Todd Anderson calls a halt to the action at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number one. The winner by submission, triangle choke, and still undefeated, Magic Norbert Noveni Jr. Good way for an early celebration of age 21. Norbert Novenyi Jr. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.